I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on behalf of one of our viewers who wants to understand how to calculate coordinates of a point which is reflected on a line. Now this is a very interesting question and I hope it is going to help many of the viewers. The question here is determine the coordinates of the image for the point 36 which is reflected in the mirror placed along the straight line y equals to x plus 1. So let me first explain the strategy here. So on a coordinate plane, I will draw the line y equals to x plus 1. So here's a rough sketch, means slope of 1 and y-intercept of 1. So the line is kind of like this, right? So that is the line which is y equals to x plus 1. Now let us say that the point which we are interested in is P which is let's say 3 6. Let me call this point as 3 6. We want to know image of this point after it is reflected when a mirror is placed along the line y equals to x plus 1. So as you know, the reflected image will be as far behind as it is in front. So you expect the image to be somewhere there. Let the coordinates of this point be, let's call it uh, P dash as X, Y. We want to find these coordinates. How do we find them? So first step is that we should understand that this line P, P dash is perpendicular to the line given to us where the mirror is placed, correct? And second thing which we need to understand is that the point on the intersection of these two lines, let's call this point as Q, is same distance away from both these points, P and P dash. Perfect. So I hope this concept is clear to you, right? Now, let's see how to find first point Q and then the image point P dash. So we are given the equation of mirror, which is along the line defined by y equals to x plus 1. Now perpendicular line will have slope of how much? minus 1, right? Since the slope of the line here is 1, so the perpendicular line will have slope of minus 1. So let's call this line P, P dash. P, P dash is perpendicular to line L1, correct? Now, on this line p p dash we know that the slope m is minus 1 and we have a point p which is known to us as 3 6. With this information we can find equation of p p dash right so in the form of y equals to minus x plus b minus since slope is minus 1. To find the value of b I will replace x and y values with 3 and 6. So we get 6 equals to minus 3 plus b and that gives us the value of b as equal to 9, 6 plus 3, correct? Which we got by adding 3 to 6, correct? So therefore, we now get the equation of the line which is p, p dash and the equation of the line is y equals to x plus 9, correct? So we have found the equation of the line P, P dash. Now let us find the point of intersection Q. So let's find point of intersection Q. That is between the line L1, right, and P, P dash. So we know line L1 is y equals to 
x plus 1 and the other line is y equals to minus sorry the slope is negative so it is minus x minus x plus 9 so we can substitute the value of y so we get x plus 1 equals to minus x plus 9 bringing x together x plus x equals to 9 minus 1 2x equals to 8 and that gives you the value of x as 8 divided by 2 which is 4 now so we get the value 4 for x coordinate right so what is the y coordinate so we can substitute 4 here so we get y equals to 4 plus 1 which is 5 so the coordinates for point q will be x value of 4 and y value of 5 so we found the coordinates of point q which is 4 5 is that clear perfect so that is the point of intersection between pp dash perpendicular to the line y equals to x plus 1 now we need to find the coordinates of p dash which is same distance away from q as p so q is the midpoint correct okay? so remember q is midpoint of pp dash correct of this segment pp dash now how is the midpoint related the coordinates are average correct so the coordinates of q so that means 4 the x value of q should be equal to 3 plus x divided by 2 and the value y of q coordinate which is 5 should be equals to 6 plus y divided by 2 if the point coordinates for p dash are x and y as shown here now from here we can find what x and y is by cross multiplying we get 8 equals to 3 plus x or 8 minus 3 i mean 8 minus 3 which is 5 equals to x here we get 10 equals to 6 plus y or 10 minus 6 equals to y which is 4 and therefore we get the coordinates of p dash as x value of 5 and y value of 4 is that clear so that is how you could find image of a given point when it is reflected along a straight line so just to recall the steps are find the slope of the given line a line perpendicular to that will have a negative reciprocal slope right so that is the slope of perpendicular line then find the equation of perpendicular line using the slope and the given point then you have to find point of intersection q which is midway between the point and its image once you get q use the formula that is the midpoint formula right so midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2 which we used here so q is the midpoint so the 4 is equals to 3 plus x divided by 2 and 5 equals to 6 plus y divided by 2 solve for x and y to get your coordinates of the image point so that is how it should be solved so i hope the steps now are absolutely clear feel free to share my videos and if you like you can also subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best